Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to build and integrate custom forms. When we talk about forms, we're just talking about a box that asks people different questions. It could ask for their name, email, phone number, or you can customize it and put your own questions on it. But ultimately we use them to capture information from our leads. And after we build out the form one time, we can embed that form on emails, our website, funnels, etc. So to get to your forms, you're going to be in your sub account and then we're just going to go down to sites. And then up here it says forms and we are gonna select the form builder. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys how to build a form. So we're just gonna go to create new form here and then this opens up the form builder. So as you can see, we can drag in different elements. We could do like first name, last name, email, and phone number. Let's say this is the info that we wanted to capture from somebody. And then if we scroll down here, you can see all of the different questions that you can ask on this form. Let's say at the bottom of our form, we wanted to add a button and then we can click on this button right here and we can change the text of it. So let's say we just wanna say submit instead of button. And then you can align this button in like the middle of the page or the right of the page. Um, I think I like the right side of the page, so I'm gonna leave that there. And then if you wanna ask a custom question, that's not an option here. We can go to custom fields and you can type in your own custom question. And then when we hit add custom field, we'll just set up the field, the text that goes above it, the text that goes within the field, and then we'll add it. And then you'll be able to see it here and you'll be able to drag it over um, just like I did with this one. To get back to our form editor, we just click the form name at the top here and then we can jump over to styles and then we can select inline forms here which will just put the fields side by side. We can deselect show label and it won't show the text above each box but I like it so I'm gonna keep that there. And then we can change the background color of our field. Let's say we wanted to do like some sort of blue color like this and then let's say we wanna change the font color to white so it stands out a little bit more. And then for border, you can actually add like a border and it looks like a dotted line. I don't really like that, so I'm just gonna put that back to zero. And then for the corner radius, it's basically the roundness of the corner. So as you go up, the corners become more round, you can see. Um, so I kinda like that look with the round corners. And then width, you can make the form wider on the page by going up or skinnier on the page by going down. And there's probably not very many cases where you would use custom CSS in your form, so don't worry about that. And then the agency branding here, you can toggle on. It'll put your company logo that's saved from your sub account at the bottom left here, but I don't like the look of that, so I'm just gonna toggle that back off. Now that we're done customizing our form, we'll just go to options here and we can name the form. Let's just call this one lead capture. And then when somebody hits submit on the form, you can open up a URL and like redirect them to a page or a website. You can select a custom thank you message and you can type that in here. I mean, you can track your leads with a Facebook pixel ID. I don't really work with the Facebook pixel since Facebook did its updates a couple years ago. Um, but you could do that there. And then there's more options here for setting up your Facebook pixel event. And then down here, we wanna to toggle on sticky contact, which will just put in the person's contact information automatically since it has it saved on their phone or on their computer already from previous forms that they filled out. And so we always wanna to toggle on sticky contact there. And it looks like there's gonna be this big open space at the end of the form here, but that actually won't show up when we actually integrate the form on our website or in an email or something like that. And then if you go to integrate form right here, this is gonna be where you can change the settings for your form. You can do an inline form, which is just gonna show up natively on your website or your funnel as somebody scrolls and it'll be there as they scroll by it and they can scroll back up and it'll still be there so it's not like a pop-up or it doesn't slide in or anything like that. If you wanted it to pop up over the screen, you can set up the form as a pop-up to where if somebody clicks a certain button or takes a certain action on the page, it'll pop up over the screen and then they can fill it out there. Um, polite slide in, it'll slide in from the bottom of the screen. They can click X if they don't wanna see it anymore and it'll slide back out of the screen. And then sticky sidebar is it'll kind of just be on the side of the website or the funnel. And then the person can minimize it and it'll slide off, but it'll still slightly be showing on the side of the page. They can maximize it again and it'll slide back out and they can fill it out that way. My personal favorite though are the pop-ups. So when somebody like clicks on a sign up button or something like that, it'll pop up and then they can fill it out on the screen there. Over here, we can change the settings of it. So if we want the pop-up to go on just somebody scrolling, we can select show on scrolling. So when they scroll 50% down our page, 
it'll pop up automatically. So they don't have to click on anything. They can just be scrolling down our website and it'll pop up in front of their face. We can do show after a certain amount of seconds. So if somebody's on our website for 10 seconds, we can automatically have the pop-up come up in front of them. I just like to keep it to always show, meaning it'll only show when somebody takes a certain action on the page. You can set an activation option. So if it's like the second time somebody's come to the page, um, we can do our second visit. So it won't pop up on the first visit, but it will pop up the second time they search up your website or funnel. I just like to keep it to always activated. And then the deactivation options, you can set it up to not show again after a certain amount of times that somebody's seen it. If it's popped up in front of them three times already and you don't want it to show again, you can set it to three times or we can just deactivate it once the lead is collected. Um, that one makes a lot of sense. You don't want it popping up on them after they've already put in their info. But for the way that I set it up, I just do never deactivate because I've set it up here where it's only gonna pop up when somebody clicks on a certain button or logo or takes a certain action within the website the way that I build it out in the website builder. And so I just leave these to default. Right here, you can get the embed form if you're trying to embed this somewhere like outside of Go High Level. But in the website builder, we can just actually add the form so we don't really need the code here. Or you can copy the link of the form. And if I open the form link here, it'll literally just be a blank page with the form on it that somebody can go in and fill out. So if you just wanted to like send somebody straight to your form, no website, no email, just you wanted to text them the link or something like that. There's a lot of different ways you can market with forms and use them to your advantage. One thing to note, if you're gonna be putting this form in an email, you will wanna select inline. Inline just looks the best on email. Pop-up on email doesn't look very professional or very good. Pop-up is fine for websites and funnels, but inline you're gonna wanna use for email. If you wanna embed this in an email, you would just copy the embed code here and then hit done and then you would jump over to your marketing tab and then you would select emails and then templates and then we can select new blank template here and select this then i'll show you how to embed this form in an email so you're just going to select code right here and you're going to drag out code um, as an option and then you're just going to delete the code that's in here already and then you're just going to paste in the code that you copied from the form builder and then hit save you'll see it's not gonna show up right away. So this is where you have to go to save template and then go back. And then from right here, our new template, we can hit preview. And when we hit preview, now the form has been embedded in the email. So if you wanna see what it looks like, you just have to hit the preview button. So just keep that in mind when you're building out your emails. But if you wanna put the form on your website or funnel, I really like pop up here. And so I'm gonna select this and hit done. And then I'll jump over to my website and I'll show you how to put it on a website page. Since we chose pop up for our lead capture form, we're not gonna add the element in right here. You could normally add your form in right here if you selected one of the other options other than pop up. But for this case, we're actually just gonna jump up to this pop up button right here. And we're gonna add a row and then add a column and then add an element. And here is where we will put our lead capture form. This will only pop up if somebody clicks on a certain button on our website or a certain image. And then over here, we can change the padding around the form and change like the background color and stuff like that. This is basically what the pop-up will look like once somebody clicks on that button or that image on your website or funnel. Hopefully this video has helped you guys understand forms better and how to use those forms in your marketing efforts. Feel free to text or email me if you guys have any questions on anything Go High Level related.